Shalom, 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 shalom. First and foremost, giving infinite praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shah Bashim Hakodash. Giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, and salutation to you, sincere Akim, so across the four winds, pushing this truth with sincerity of heart. I'm your fellow servant, Kasama God from a DC camp, coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah Bashim Hakodash to feed the elect. And um, <clears throat> this video going into prophecy, um, as you can see right here, I have an image of a, um, I guess you would say a skeleton. Um, but the main focus is, um, of course, the technology that you see in a man's skull, in the cranium, you know, which is um, known as a brain chip. OK, now in 2021, you should already know technology has been extremely advanced. Um you know, Esau has made leaps and bounds going back to the 60s. Uh, and we know which is according to scriptures. Um, the scripture says in uh, Daniel that in the last days, knowledge shall be increased. Um, whether it be knowledge in righteousness and knowledge in wickedness, everything is going to be increased. Why? Because it's the end. It's the end days. All right. The most High is not holding anything back um, when it comes to, get, you know, given the amount of knowledge um, <clears throat> that he already meant to give to um Edom Esau and um you know in the ways that Esau moves you know Esau being a so-called white man Caucasian man European man right um the way that he moves is through um witchcraft right but also you have to understand his witchcraft is more than just casting spells and and, and things like that now that's also that's that's a core part of Esau's um witchcraft but you know the actual manifestation of Esau's witchcraft, and uh, uh, um, you know it's through his technology. Okay, it's through his technology, uh, which his technology and 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 you know the age of the machine. It's all about um, pseudo. Pseudo means fake, uh, 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 kind of like, but not really. Pseudo means fake. So pseudo technology is pseudo knowledge. Everything is fake, and but at the end of the day, it's about mind control. Right? It's about controlling um, controlling the minds of men, beginning with um, <clears throat> the Israelites, all right? which you should already know, the true, the true Hebrew Israelites, descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob of the Bible, are indeed the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? and scattered across the four winds. All right? those, are the, those are indeed the true Jews. And um, Esau knows it. He knows he's the devil, and he's making his last moves. So... In this um, <clears throat> video, I want to go into something that uh, basically uh, just came out. Uh, this is out of the Guardian.com. This is the Guardian.com, and this is uh, depression. And this is very important because uh, this is something that a lot of people are going to gravitate towards. Um, it says, woman successfully treated for depression with electrical brain implant. Okay successfully so this was a success okay so she went for according to them she went from feeling depressed to no longer feeling depressed it says a woman with severe depression has been successfully treated with an ex with an experimental brain implant in a stunning advance that offers hope to those with intractable mental illness the device works by detecting patterns of brain activity linked to depression and automatically interrupting interrupting them using tiny pulses of electrical stimulation delivered deep inside the brain the 36 year old patient sour wow sarah the the 36 year old patient sarah said the therapy the therapy had returned her to a life worth living wow you see that so it's a miracle it's it's, it's a miracle to her you know, she feels like her life is worth living again, allowing her to laugh spontaneously for the first time in five years. You know, and says, uh, although the therapy has been tested in only one patient, it would only ever be suitable for those with severe illness. The success is seen as usually significant. It is the first demonstration that the brain activity underlying the symptoms of mental illness can be reliably detected and reveals that these brain circuits can be nudged back into healthy state 
even in a patient who has been unwell for years. Um, right, man, this is, this is, this is, this is crazy, man. Look at that. Um, it says patterns of activity linked to depression are detected and interrupted through electrical stimulation. Now, when you're dealing with depression, uh, depression, go, going back to the key word pressure, it's like a burden. And this is, the de depression is, although it's, it is, you know, you could call it mental illness to a certain extent. But it's it, it's a disease of the mind that's caused by a great deal of pain, and uh, and also um, <clears throat> you know uh, also dealing with lack of hope, you know because especially when you're dealing you dealing with you know the virgin daughter of Babylon, you know these United States of America, the lifestyle, uh, how the children are raised. And there's so many things that happen. You have individuals that that are you know they get raped, they go they get molested, you know, growing up in poverty. This it it's so much that goes on in um in this society that that you know that pretty much psychologically um you know uh, hurt people. You know, of course, <laughs> primarily the nation of Israel being a slave and the psychological. Uh, uh, damage that that comes with uh, broken relationships and you know people that can't move on from death. So this depression is it's it's, a, it's an emotion that that comes with pain that hasn't been dealt with, sorrow that hasn't been dealt with, uh, and and also lack of hope. That's when really depression kicks in when you start to your hope starts to waver. You know that things will be better. Um, so that's not something you can treat with medicine. I mean, what medicine does is stimulates, it stimulates your brain, your nervous system. And what this chip is doing is also doing the same thing um, because thoughts are kind of like uh, electrical. Because I, I remember seeing this, how when a person would think they actually had a visual of the brain uh, uh, and, uh, uh, on the brain and how it was like electrical shocks that was being sent. And those were thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So if you can get into that and stimulate the mind and stimulate certain nerves, although the person feels bad for an actual reason, because depression just doesn't come out of nowhere. It comes from different places and emotion that's triggered by pain, sorrow and, and lack of hope. But it, you know, Esau believes that he could just touch a particular nerve and make you feel good. I'm like, listen, man. That that's still not healing, but it comes. It, it, it's it's pseudo, which is fake. It's fake healing. It's 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 not the real deal. The 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 cure for depression is is healing and hope, right? It's healing and hope. It's that's the cure for depression. But Esau, being what he is, that's what he that's what he's pushing. And depression is a big thing, you know, in America, especially here in America. Man, the depression is is very big. So a lot of people are going to gravitate towards this as a cure for depression. OK, so and, and, and this is th these are some of the things that the scripture spoke about. All right. This is Revelation 13 and 14. It says and deceive of them. See that deceiving going back to pseudo meaning fake pseudo technology, pseudo science. You know, depression is an emotion that's triggered by actual pain that comes from actual events that took place and unless you go back and you deal with those events and you deal with those issues and you find those issues and you deal with those issues and and the hope is brought back you cannot heal from depression you know what i'm saying i mean i know listen i know you know what i'm saying not only i not only me but brothers in the truth we know you can't there's no way you can be in this truth and you're not dealing with a level of depression because it comes with actual the state in which we were in. You know, when you realize that you're you're captive, all the history hits you in the, in in the face and 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 what's going on and the the, the the you get all this knowledge and then you see this wickedness and and sometimes you be sitting around seeing like man wickedness is taking W's. You know, what I'm saying that that brings about depression. But when you go back into the scriptures, that's when you. You get the healing from Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, and then you get hope, and that's how we're able to overcome these cycles of depression, uh, uh, these depressionary cycles that we go through. Uh, and it's truth, right? No pills and no chip is going is going to cure that, man. Events have to happen. Events that are opposite to the events that are either happening to you or happened to you in the past. You have to have new events 
that are total opposite that will bring actual true joy, you know what I'm saying, for you to, to overcome depression, man. Um, you know, so Revelation 13 and 14, and, and deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, because that's a, that's a miracle, it's a pseudo miracle, you know, but it's, it's a miracle nonetheless. Like, example, if you put a, if you put a chip on my brain right now, that's making me feel like I'm, I'm delivered and I'm in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, I might get the stimulation, but it's not real because the reality is I'm a slave, right? I'm a Hebrew Israelite slave, you know, and a virgin daughter of Babylon. And that, that's reality. And as long as that reality is what it is, you're going to have cycles of depression until you get the real deal, which is deliverance. That's why we can't wait for your child to come and deliver us. So, you know what I'm saying? So we can really legit, you know what I'm saying, feel real joy, man. All right? Um, it says, And deceive of them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should both make an image to the beast which had the the wound by a sword and did live. All right, going back to, you know what I'm saying, the, the reincarnation of ancient Rome, the, the leader of of, of the, the ancient and new new Rome, which is Edom Esau, okay, and his the beast system. All right, and now uh, verse 15, it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, right? So, so Esau's image, you know, he's gonna be establishing it. Well, he's already established his image to a certain extent, you know, which is his system, his banking system, uh, his philosophy, democracy, all of these things. That's his image, which his image is pseudo, you know, pseudo meaning fake. It's totally pseudo and contrary. And opposite to the image of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, which is righteousness, uh, for the Hebrew Israelites, right? Dominion of uh, of 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 all all the realms, so to speak. Dominion of all the realms by the Hebrew Israelites. You know what I'm saying? The the, the, the establishment of the law, statutes, commandments, righteousness. That's the image of the Lord. That's the image of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. But the image of Esau is what we we've been dealing with, and then he's got the final stage of his image, which is the establishment of the new world order, where he's going to get rid of all the borders he's going to make sure everybody has at least you know a, a microchip in his right hand or his forehead and this chip right here in your in your forehead in your head is something that that these are some of the things that 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 the chip can do so and a, you got a lot of people dealing with depression a lot of people going to gravitate towards that a lot of israelites that that buy into the system are going to gravitate towards that because nobody really wants to live with depression that shit is not fun, man. That shit is 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 hard, man. It's the, the, the that's that's the disease in the mind. You know what I'm saying? That's the disease in the mind. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to live with that. So you always gonna find try to find a way out of depression. But if you're an Israelite, your way out of depression is through the scriptures, right? And you can never fully be you know out of this. You're gonna get through cycles. You know, you're gonna get through cycles until we are delivered. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's never going to go away. You just go through cycles of ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. But Esau is trying to find a way to, to tell people that he got the cure for that, man. You know? Like, we don't understand what depression is. It ain't just some diseases that just pops up out of nowhere, man. This is something that springs up off of actual events. Actual legit events that affect you. That either had affected you, you haven't dealt with, or that is still affecting you. Okay? So, um, verse 16, it says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right? So, when you see that, that mark, you know what I'm saying? It's talking about a carving, karagma in the Greek. It's an incision, it's a puncture. It's something that needs to be carved in your body, man. In your right hand or in your head. Oh, some people will have both. You know, but that's what we're going into, man. It's all about deception. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. It says, Put on the whole armor of Yahweh Shem Shah that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So that armor is faith. You got to believe in Yahweh Shem Shah. You got to believe that only Yahweh Shem Shah can cure your depression. You know what I'm saying? Not not a microchip or none of that garbage. Alright? Um, 
look up the the word when you look up the word wiles on um blue letter you see right here methodia which is a method that's where you get the word method methodia um you can go to strong's see it says method it says look travis travesty trickery that's the reason why uh, the scripture said deceive them you know it's deception for you to believe that your your depression is going to be cured by an actual microchip sending fake feelings who wants to have fake feelings man you know i don't want fake feelings um fake feelings of joy man come on talking about spontaneous laugh so you talking about you just sitting there and all of a sudden a uh, a uh, 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 a transmission uh, uh, gets sent to your brain and you just start laughing and 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 you joyful joyful for what <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, i mean like emotions are according to situations you know what i'm saying like if 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 i lose a family member a dear family member of mine i don't want the emotion of joy and laughter like this is so beautiful the best thing like that's craziness man you know what I'm saying? That's craziness that you're gonna, you know, be a subject to that kind of madness, man. But a lot of people going, going, going buy into that because they have no real hope. Um, now this is cunning arts, methodia, wiles, cunning art, deceit, craft, trickery. So you want to focus on that word craft, right? Now let's go to um, the word techno. The word techno on Adam Online. The word techno out of the word technology, as we know these brain chips. Microchips are technology. So out of technology, you look at the word techno. The word techno means craft. All right. So that lets you know that in the book of Ephesians, the Lord always knew that the trickery and the wiles of the devil will be a craft. It will be a technology. And Esau's craft is technology. Okay. That's the reason why we know, you know, say that the, the mark of the beast is, is, is the RFID microchip because Esau's craft is technology all right so isaiah chapter 46 and um nine it says remember the former things of old for i am the most high and there is none else i am the power and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure so the Lord has already determined that this was going to be the end times and these things was going to happen. That's why these things are written. You know, they prophesied. And us as witness prophets, uh, we have to stand on, 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 um, on a watchtower and we have to warn the elect out of the nation of Israel. OK, you know, the, that's that's our job. I mean, that is our sole duty, you know. And that's the reason why we exist is to do this, you know what I'm saying? And the elect are going to listen. They don't have a choice but to listen. No, you you become righteous because of your how about shit, you shot, not because of your own will. So the elect, we don't have a choice but to push righteousness. How do I know? We, listen, there's been so many things where people will give up. You get through so many craziness. You go through so much garbage, man. Sometimes, you know, you like, damn, man, how can I get to the next day? doing it that you get up the next day and then the spirit is still there the faith is still there the understanding is still there and it's just and you just understand man like this is what you meant to do you know so that's the same thing with the elect you know what I'm saying they gonna listen to the word they ain't got no choice all right uh i'm gonna close out with this, this is isaiah chapter 52 and 1 it says awake awake put on thy strength O zion zion is talking about israel the elect Put on thy beautiful garments, which is this truth and faith, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Listen, the microchip is for the, the microchip, and that's the technology of the uncircumcised and the unclean. Who are the uncircumcised and the unclean? Really, it's talking about these goddamn heathens, man. Beginning with Edom Esau. He's the top uncircumcised and unclean. When I say uncircumcised, really, of course, he can circumcise himself and all that. But it's spiritual in terms of everyone from the beginning and a carnal level. When we talked about uncircumcised, that's how the heathens, you know, that's that's a thing of the heathens not being circumcised. OK, so you can't let them come into thee, man. You can't make a pact 
just like going back to good old Deuteronomy 7, man. Sex, you can't make no deals with them, no pact with them, okay? Don't take nothing that they're they giving you in, 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 in your body, man, all right? In no way, shape, or form. All right, so with that, I'm going to say, Carl, Halal, 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 Shemel, Shah, Dabba, Honor, Swa, Apostles, Elders, a great millstone. Shalom, Salutation, T. Sensei, I came close to four wins because I'm a guy from a DC camp, Sensei, Shalom.